What's going on everybody? My name is Alex, also known as Formula. Welcome back to episode number 11 of Craft Night. We are back on the server here today. My energy is absolutely vibing today. I'm in a really good mood. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day as well. You guys already know, I gotta thank you all for all the love on the last episode. We are just absolutely dooming. Every single video we posting on Craft Night is just doing better and better every single time. So thank you again to everybody that's been dropping a like. It really means a lot if you guys could just hit that thumbs up right below the video. Every time you guys hit that like button, it helps my video be shared to other and new people so it would really help a lot you guys can do that for me but anyways we are back here and we are right where we left off on the last episode in front of our new barn area it really doesn't look like a barn now that i think about it but you know it gets the job done and that's really all that matters but i actually signed on today and i noticed we got some new friends that are pulling up to the scene all right we got a brand new horse over here just vibing out you guys probably might remember a couple episodes ago i found a horse but it was a really slow horse. Like, you guys already know. I gotta get, like, the Italian Stallion. I gotta get the Lamborghini Ferrari of horses, all right? So, we're gonna be testing out some of these horses here. I think there was another one somewhere. I don't know where it went, though. It might have died. But, yeah, let's see what this guy's got going on here. Hopefully, he's a good one. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's the other horse. He's all the way up on the mountain. Okay, so we got two horses over here. I'm thinking about building a stable. I don't know if I want to build it right here or if I want to build it where my actual house is. I think I'm going to put it where my actual house is for the time being. How do you get on this horse? Do I have to give him a saddle or something? Like, I don't think I'm allowed to get on the horse. Are you supposed to feed them? Am I like... What am I doing here, guys? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I got to give him some wheat. Hold on. This might work. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I've just been super... Wait, is he eating? Oh, yo, he's chomping. All right. Yo, you still won't let me hop on, though? Wait, what? All right, hold on here. Let me feed you a little more. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, yo, dog, you're like eating all my food, bro. Hold on. Bro, how am I supposed... How do you get on the horse? Bro, I, I gotta be missing something here. All right, bro, you're really giving me a hard time. Here, you know what? I'll, I got diamond armor. Are you gonna love me now? No? All right, you know what? Let's try this other horse. I, I definitely am doing something wrong here. I don't know what's going on. All right, yo, this one actually looks really cool. I like this guy. All right, you're also gonna give me attitude? Are you serious, bro? I'm trying to provide you a nice home. Oh, let's go. We got on the horse. Wait, what? Yo, he keeps kicking me off though. All right, wait. Can I give you a saddle? Oh, dude, dude, chill, chill. Bro, I was literally just on the horse. And now I can't. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Wait, come on. Come on. Please love me. Please. Yes, let's go. We got the hearts. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if this horse is official. Oh, he's fast. He's pretty fast. All right, yo. Well, this horse actually is not that bad. Like, he's actually kind of fast. Oh, and he's got hops. All right, yo, hold up. All right, let's see this guy. This guy was giving me a lot of trouble, so I feel like he's going to be a really fast horse. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, he loves me already. Okay. Give you a saddle, some armor. Oh, okay. He's kind of slow. Or maybe he's the same speed as the other horse. I can't really tell. But you know what? We're going to keep them in here for now until we make like a solid tunnel that's in the nether. Wait, can I not get you guys in here? There we go. But yeah, right before I was recording this video, I actually went ahead and farmed a little bit of the stuff that I got going on here. And we actually have a pretty decent amount of sugar cane. And, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. We also got a lot of carrots. Like, this was from one harvest of carrots. Like, this is pretty stacked. We got a decent amount of wheat. Not really that much. All right. Okay, yep. These horses are getting annoying now. <laughs> we got some leather, some meats. Oh, yeah. Like, we're getting up there. We got a ton of melons, which is going to be awesome. Because I think I kind of want to get some farming villagers today's episode. And maybe get some really good emerald trades from them we also got the glow ink sack farm going it's actually doing a pretty good job and one of the reasons why i came here today was because i actually man all right yo yo these cows they are so loud and obnoxious bro but yeah one of the reasons why i came over here today is because i actually managed to get some potatoes and i also have some beetroot seeds i don't really know if i'm ever going to use any of these crops to be honest with you guys but you know i figured why not just keep stacking it for the fun. So we're going to quickly just harvest a little bit of this and plant some potatoes and beetroots. We're going to pop some potatoes in here just like that. I mean, I don't even know, guys. I'm thinking about opening up a shop called like a farmer's market. I don't really know. I think that would be kind of cool, though, because I know a lot of the players on the server would really appreciate it if they had some carrots, some potatoes for all their farms and stuff. So maybe I might open up a shop this episode or next episode. 
We'll see. Oh, there we go. We got the beetroots pack in heat. Let's go. We're going to multiply the beetroots though. I really want to grow a bunch of them for whatever reason. I don't think I'm ever going to use them. I could make some soup out of it. That would be kind of interesting. Not really. But seriously, I've just been at an all-time happiness with like recording Minecraft. You guys seem to just really love the series, man. Like I read every single comment, by the way. Like you guys might not think I do, but I actually go through and read all the comments. You guys always give me so many tips and suggestions of what to do. Some of you guys, I'm not going to lie, are kind of trolls in the comments though, okay? I know you guys are giving me some fake tips, but listen, I'm not that newbie at Minecraft. I think I kind of know what I'm doing. And also, if this is your first time watching the series, please just be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post uh, Craft Night every other day on this channel. We're just having fun, having a good time. That's what really all this is about. All right, we're just gonna replant some of these beetroots. We got some potatoes planted, and I think we're gonna head over and do our next task. Oh yeah, there we go. We're adding to the carrot collection. Let's go, baby. All right, you know what? I don't think we need that many chests of carrots, so we're gonna just dispose of that. Let's make this beetroots. We'll make this one potatoes, and then the bottom two will be carrots. Wait a minute. Didn't I have two horses in here? Where did my other horse go? Did he go upstairs? Wait, I know I had two in here. Like, there was two horses. Wait, he's not out there. Bro, wait, hold on. Oh, no, dude. Don't tell me he went to the nether. Oh, yeah, I kind of died earlier. <laughs> hold on a second, bro. Don't tell me my diamond horse went all the way to the nether to escape. Um... What are you doing in here, bro? What are you doing, dog? It's dangerous out here. You're gonna die. All right, yo, you're coming with me, bro. We can't leave you out here, man. All right, there we go. He teleported through. I think we're chilling. But yeah, the next thing that I wanted to do was actually head over here into the nether. And I kind of wanted to connect this portal with the portal that's at spawn. So I can easily just go back and forth without having to walk all that miles. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe the portal should be in this direction over here. I think I'm correct about this. I could be wrong. Oh, yo, chill, fam. Yo, chill, chill. Yo, let's talk about the. Yo, yo, okay, yo, they're getting a little aggressive. That was kind of uncalled for. Okay, wait a minute. I believe the portal is actually this way. I think it's around here somewhere. I'm trying to figure out how far I have to go to get back to spawn. All right, you know what, guys? I think I'm kind of lost. Yep, I am definitely lost. Okay, well... Yep, we're just gonna forget about finding the portal on the way back. We're just gonna head over there naturally and just try to go there. But I think I'm actually gonna grab some of this mystic wood and some of the crimson wood because I actually wanna start prepping for my first ever shop on the server. I think it's about time we start working on getting a shop going because your boy is kind of burning through some diamonds here, okay? And I kind of need some more diamonds from the other guys. So, you know, hopefully next episode, I definitely wanna start opening up our enchantment store but i think i'm gonna make it look pretty cool and i really love the mystic and crimson wood i is this even called mystic wood no warp stem i don't know why it just looks mystical okay so we're gonna grab like three stacks of this wood and we're gonna head back grab some of the crimson wood and then we'll just see what's next honestly i don't know i'm, I'm either debating should i open up an enchantment shop next episode or should i open up a farmer's market i feel like i could easily open up a farmer's market because i have so much stuff to already sell and i really don't have that many books yet so i don't know guys what what kind of store should i do next you guys leave a comment down below i want you guys to determine which shop i'm gonna open up first all right oh we got some glowstone over here okay gotta get some of this glowstone whenever i see it i feel like glowstone is super hard to come by especially because usually glowstone kind of just grows on top of like lava pools and it's super annoying to get but you know what since it's over here might as well cop some of this let's go baby that's what i'm talking about look how tall this tree is wait what it goes all the way down there to all the way to the ceiling are you kidding me i did not know some trees spawn like that kind of cool though all right bro my really dude why does this keep happening i keep getting shot by the gas but they like never actually appear it's really annoying like look at that he just disappears but he still shoots at me how am i supposed to know where to aim Okay, yep, yep, we're done with this. We're not playing into his games. Ooh, shroom light. Okay, okay. I definitely like the shroom light. It's a lot more rare than glowstone. It's kind of hard to get too. I don't think you could farm it or like make it yourself somehow. So I definitely like to collect all the rare blocks as much as I can. Oh, and speaking of rare blocks, another thing that I accidentally got rid of was my deep slate emerald ore block. You guys were telling me that it's one of the rarest blocks in the game. It's like the second rarest block apparently. And I accidentally threw it away because I didn't think it was that special. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. We cannot be burning right now. Yep. That's not good. That is not good. We have way too much stuff on us. 
house right now. Okay. Okay. Let's relax here. You know what I thought about doing actually? I don't know if you guys remember, but on season one of Craft Night, I made like a really crazy ice tunnel in the nether. Yeah, I think I'm never gonna do that ever again. Instead, <laughs> I think I'm gonna make like a really cool like subway rail system going on in the nether. I think that'd be really cool just so I have easy access going into spawn and going into my farms. I was gonna do that in the overworld, but it would just take way too much time. And it's also gonna take more time to actually transport myself to the farms. Because in case you guys didn't know, inside of the nether, every eight blocks moved in the overworld is one block moved in the nether. So like if I move one block right now like this, it's eight blocks in the overworld, if that makes sense. I don't know how Minecraft does that, but it just, it just, I don't know. Listen, I'm not a, I'm not a physicist, but I think we're pretty chilling on mats. We got some warp stem, crimson stem. I'm going to cringe at myself for saying mats in Minecraft. But anyways, we're going to head back right now. Actually, wait, let me get a screenshot of the cords here. All right. So let's see what we got in our collection now. Let's see. We got, Ooh, okay. We got five stacks of warp stem. Not bad. Not bad. And we also have five stacks of crimson stem. Definitely awesome. Probably going to use this stuff to make our shop next episode. So be on the lookout for that. Cause it's going to be a good one. All right. Yo, we are just like, like, what are all these noises I'm hearing, guys? Like, we got the iron golem. We got cats all over the place. We have a zombie downstairs, villagers. This is why sometimes I have to play with hostile creatures and friendly creatures noises off because it just gets way too crazy out here. Also, guys, I noticed that Kaz has been building some pretty cool structures around the village lately. Like, my man's over here built a whole bridge. This thing is actually super dope. I love it. I think it's awesome. We definitely got to add some more cool decorations besides our house on that side of the island or village, whatever you guys want to call this area here, because we want to make this place feel like, you know, it's like a little town. You know what I mean? We got all of our houses here. We got you know, some cool decorations and stuff. Maybe we got to put up a Christmas tree, but you know, it's kind of too early for Christmas. Okay. It's still November. Let's, let's relax a little bit. Anyways. So right now I'm going to go into the nether and we're going to try to connect the two portals. I want to make like a really cool subway system. Okay. So wait, I think, I think that it's like it's literally like right here, isn't it? Wait a second. Yeah. Here's that crimson forest. Okay. Wait a minute. I know the portal is literally like, oh yeah, look, I was cutting trees over there. Hold on a second. No way it's up here, right? If my portal's actually only like 30 blocks away, that would be insane. Is it up here, please? Oh my gosh. It's actually here. What? No way. That is super awesome. So now you're telling me that we could basically just go from here all the way back to spawn in like literally 10 seconds. That's OP. That's actually OP. Okay, yeah, we're going back in right now, and we're making a quick subway system. It's a must. We're gonna need a lot of powered rails, normal rails. Oh my goodness. All right, wait, let me let me figure this out. So if it starts up here, okay, okay. I kind of want to make it so mobs also can't get in this thing either. So if it goes over there, we literally walk down here. Oh no, okay, okay, okay. We took a little bit of damage. It's all good. Yeah, okay, so hmm, how do I make this? This is gonna be tricky. All right, we're gonna mark it that it's in this direction. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about this. I'm gonna have to think about how I wanna make this tunnel. All right, so in order for this subway system, we're gonna need some redstone blocks. We're gonna need some gold for the powered rails and we're probably gonna need some iron, okay? Oh, I accidentally made way too many rails. Okay, but that's all right, that's all right. We're still gonna need it. We're going to make some powered rails as well. Let's make like a bunch of these, actually. Let's just, why not? We're going to use all of it. We're going to make some redstone blocks. And we're going to make a couple signs, because why not? Okay, so now I kind of want to come up with a theme for this railway system. Hmm, what's like a cheap block that I can use? You know what? I do have a lot of stone. Why not? We're going to use stone brick. Okay, so we need to find a way to make a railway system go from this specific area all the way to my farming area. So let me think about this. Let's see how we can do this. I kind of just want to make it just one straight path. I think we can make it start here, go down this way and curve up. I think that's probably going to be the move. Yep. Let's try to do that. I kind of want to save some room here just in case we all decide to make a nether base together. So we're going to move some of this out of the way just so I'm not bothering anyone. We're going to make a little room as well, just in case. All right. So it's going to go kind of something like this. We're going to have a nice five by five little room over here, and then it's going to branch into a three by three. And that's kind of just how it's going to be. We're going to put rails going all the way to the next portal, which shouldn't be that far. So we'll see how this looks. Let's just start carving out right now. Okay. So basically, Basically, the way this is going to work, it's going to start off from right here. The railway is going to just simply go right here, turn, and then it's going to go up. So I somehow got to plan this out. It's going to be kind of hard. Okay, so I think this is the height that we need to go for this. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So this is... Oh, wait. This is 85. It's 84 height. Now, if I did this correctly, 
I'm pretty sure all I got to do is just dig straight and we should run into our nether portal. I hope I did this correctly because if I didn't, that is going to be a major L. Okay, we're seeing the crimson. That's a good sign. We definitely made it into the right biome. Oh, there's the portal. Okay, yeah, so we did this correctly. All right. That makes me really happy that I did not mess this up for once. Okay, so now all we got to do is just kind of connect the pathway going into our farm portal. I also got to put up some signs saying that it's top secret and I don't want anyone else coming here. <laughs> all right, so this is where you are going to hop out and get into the portal. We could eventually, like, I don't know where this is gonna go, but, you know, if we have a lot of locations that we need to get to in this game, like, maybe we might find an ocean monument that we need to go to. Like, I could easily just extend the subway system, and we can easily just make this, like, accessible to everyone everywhere. And who knows, maybe down the line, we could upgrade this to an ice tunnel, but I just remember how long that took me to do last time. I don't know if I want to do that again, but you know what? For the content, we might have to. All right, so let's connect this, just going all the way down there. We're gonna connect this, going all the way here and i know i don't have to make it this wide but i just i just think i don't know kind of looks cool like that oh we don't even have that much stone brick okay okay we're gonna have to go back and get some more but hey at least we got the pathway connected look at this i'm gonna take you guys through the walk here okay you start right there you simply just walk through here and then all you gotta do is just come down here oh we're gonna have to fix this otherwise we're gonna be bumping our heads into the floor all right and then we go over here here exit out and boom there's the home spawn let's go is there a way to break this stuff faster bro because i don't like wait hold on what are these blocks by the way hold on a second okay all right now i can't even identify them whatever but these blocks are the most annoying things to break i don't know what tool you're supposed to use to break them are you supposed to shear them is that how that works i have no idea bro but it takes so long to break them even with like unbreaking three fortune three all the enchantments it's really annoying to break okay there we go i am having major flashbacks to craft night season one doing this but it's gonna be so worth it okay so now we have reached the end of this place all right now we got to do the walls oh gosh bro this is actually kind of a pain i'm not gonna lie bro you're really telling me that shears don't even break these how are you supposed to break these i'm definitely missing something here this literally takes me so long to break just one all right guys the tunnel is almost complete thank goodness that it's not like super far from spawn because otherwise this would have taken me like three hours to do but luckily it was not that much of a grind but still it's gonna be worth it because now we're gonna have pretty easy access in the nether we're gonna be able to simply hop in a minecart to just get back to spawn whenever we need to we can also put a minecart with a chest in it and transport goods back and forth which is super sick so let's find out a starting point and it's also what's the fastest way to make mine rails go hmm so i'm pretty sure if i put three powered rails and then i think within 38 blocks as long as you put another one of these contraptions here you should be able to maintain top speed. So I don't know. I don't know how to really make this go the fastest possible. You guys can leave a comment down below and I might have to rework this later. I'm not really an expert on mine rails, okay? This is like one of my first few times I'm ever doing this. But I know as long as I have a couple of these redstone blocks with some powered rails, we should be good to go. Slap this in there. Powered rail. More powered rails going around the turn. Oh wait, I can't do that. Okay. All right, so we got our little subway station entrance over here. Okay, we walk in and then boom. Oh wait, actually, you know what? For the end here... I think we're probably gonna have to put one of these powered rails all right i know i could probably use activators and stuff dude i don't really know what i'm doing i'm gonna be honest but we're gonna test this out and see if it's actually pretty fast all right so let's grab our minecart here we're gonna just simply plop it hop in and move forward all right here we go <laughs> yo this is actually pretty sick okay yeah we're going down it's like a little roller coaster all right so yeah that only took about like five seconds or so i don't really know there's gonna be a timer on the screen for you guys but as you can see it's pretty fast okay pretty easy access it definitely beats walking back and forth and we can also go back just like this all right awesome you know what i think for fun we're also just gonna decorate this because i feel like it looks a little bland but we want to make it a little bit interesting all right there we go okay now we definitely got to light it up a bit we're just gonna place a glowstone block on top of every single fence post here yo whoa 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 what are you doing in here hold on a second buddy i didn't say it could be in here there's no way in here uh, maybe he just spawned in naturally we're also gonna make a little place to get out okay so if i wanted to get out i definitely could go out and explore a little bit let's also put an iron door the pressure plate there we go pressure plate there awesome and we're also gonna put a sign here that says forms farms do not enter or else there we go 
So now people know. All right, we also made a bunch of mine carts just in case some of them get misplaced. Put some in there. All right, yo, this is sick. I am in love with this. Yo, this is actually... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's a problem. Okay, we got to find a way to make it so it does not just send me back and forth like this. I think if I use a lever instead of the redstone block towards the ends, yeah, that will probably solve this problem that I'm having. You know, we're also going to put a sign right there. Forms secret subway. Do not proceed. All right, let's put a pressure plate there. We're going to put a door on this side as well. Oh, yeah, this is dope. I love this. I think we also need to light up the runway with some torches. There we go. We don't want any mobs spawning here whatsoever. Oh, yeah, there we go. This will stop our problem, hopefully. Oh, wait, I got to turn it off, though. Oh, no, that's a problem. Yeah, there, there's definitely a better way to do this. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, that works. All right, put a chest here. Put some mine carts in there. And then once we get here, we literally just hop out and then it'll just come back. All right, cool. Hey, we got the subway system completed. That's awesome. All right, so the next order of business, I think we need to find a way to get emeralds super quick. And there's actually a really easy way if you have a lot of farming villagers, which I'm gonna try to do and see if I can make that happen. We're actually gonna go ahead and convert our very own first ever zombie farming villager because i think that there's a trade in there that will get me a lot of emeralds really quickly all right so the next thing we need to do real quick is make some more potions because you know we already want to get the best villager trades and i believe if you like zombify a farming villager which i've actually never done before you get some pretty insane discounts so we're gonna see what all the hype is about honestly i'm pretty excited we got hopefully we have all the ingredients already oh we need to get spider eyes bro i hate getting spider eyes please tell me i have some um, I have one in this chest. All right, well, time to go find some spiders. This is not going to be fun. Of course, whenever I need spiders... Oh, there we go. All right, I was just about to say, like, whenever I need spiders, I never find them. Like, e I feel like every time you look for something in Minecraft, you just never get what you want. And of course, that spider just did not drop me a spider eye. You hate to see it. Ooh, I think Ducky actually has a spider farm already. I wonder... I don't want to use it without him knowing, though. Oh, a zombie villager already here? What? Hold on a second. No way. All right, yo, that's actually insanely lucky. You know what? We're going to take you in, though. All right, come with me, buddy. I got you. Don't worry. You're going to become a farmer. That actually worked out pretty good for us. As long as these skeletons don't kill my villager. Is that a baby zombie with an iron sword? What the? When they start giving... Yo, what? All right, yo, this zombie villager might actually kill me, dog. Bro, why are the mobs like stacked? The mobs have enchanted armor. All right, come on, bro. Yep. Just come on in. Don't worry. Hello there, good sir. All right, get you in your brand new home. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Nope. 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 Okay, we definitely did something wrong here. All right, we're just going to leave you in there for now, and uh, we're going to try to heal him. All right, bro. Give me your spider eyes, please. Oh, no spider eye. Hate to see it. Oh, no. We got a witch. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. We got to take you out, buddy. Oh, there we go. I think we got two spider eyes. Let's go, baby. That's what I like to see. Oh, we got three of them. Nice. Bro, look how many arrows I got inside my body just from fighting all those mobs. That actually looks so ridiculous. All right, we're gonna need some sugar. We got the spider eye, the sugar, and we got the mushrooms. There we go. It's gonna be our first ingredient here. We got the fermented spider eye. And then we just gotta simply just put in some of this redstone. I think I have some golden apples. Hold on a second. Do I have any? All right, we got two apples. Not bad. Oh, what? You need gold bars for this? What? Why is it so expensive? That is ridiculous, man. That should not be that expensive to make one golden apple. All right, let's grab these potions here. Oh, yeah. That is what I like to see. All right. Here we go. We're going to help you. Why is it not a... It's a potion of weakness. Oh, wait. What? Um, guys, we kind of got a little problem. I'm kind of being followed by five zombies, bro. What? When was this ever a thing? Is this like part of a new update where they just spawn a zombie horde against you, bro? Like, what was that? I have never had to deal with anything like that before. Creeper, please drop me some creeper dust. That's all I'm asking, bro. Oh, let's go. Thank you. All right, we out of here. We out of here. We don't like the nighttime. So now you guys can see how long it actually takes to get all the ingredients, to get the potions, to get zombie villagers, to go back to normal. Like, it's actually a pretty insane grind if you think about it. Okay, now that we got our potions finally, we can go back and save this little guy. Hopefully he's still here. Yes, he is. Holding his friend's raw meat. All right. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna throw this and do that and now we just wait and hopefully my guy will become a wonderful farmer so actually while that's happening since we do have an extra apple here i think we're gonna try to convert another villager real quick let's see how are we gonna do that first of all let's put all this away all right buddy wake up get in the boat get in the boat now bro wake up wake up wake up wake up it's time to get up for school listen bro 
Get in the boat. We're not, we're not waiting. For, we're not, nah, 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 Get in the boat. Come on. You know the drill. Ah, 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 Where do you think you're going? All right, come on, bro. Just get in the mine cart, bro. This is like the hardest part of doing this entire thing is getting these guys to go into this, man. Like, please just do it, man. <laughs> It's so hard, bro. Like, there's got to be an easier way to, like, make this work, right? All right, now you literally have no choice but to get in the mine cart. No, 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 no. Yep. Get back in here, bro. Come on. What do you think you're doing? Get in the cart. No, 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 no. All right, you know what? Just, dude, come on. How? How? So now you guys can see why nobody else on the server is willing to do something like this besides me, bro. Because, dude, this is just so hard to make. There we go. Finally. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that was a struggle. All right, there we go. All right, so hopefully he turns into a zombie. Sometimes they die. It's like a 50-50% chance that they do. Oh, yes, it worked. Okay, let's go. All right, splash potion of weakness golden apple enjoy that and now we're gonna go back to our farmer who should be good to go by now where is he there he is let's go all right now i'm actually happy all right so next order of business we break this nope no 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 Nah, hey, 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 get back in the boat. Oh, let's go. There we go. Awesome. We got our farmer. All right. Let's see what kind of trades we got going on. Really, bro? That's the kind of discount you give me? Dude, that's like nothing. All right, but you know what? I can't complain. And I actually found out that you can actually re-zombify them and get even cheaper discounts. But dude, that is just way too much of a grind. It takes way too much time. So I think I'm just going to keep these trades that we got going on here. But that's actually a solid trade. I'm not too mad about that. What about you? Are you still... Yep, you're still a zombie. Okay. All right, so let's upgrade this guy. Hopefully, there's a trade in here that will give me watermelons. That is the one that I'm really looking for here. What are you going to become now? An apprentice? Uh, he, ooh, pump, one pumpkin. One pumpkin for one emerald. That is a good trade. I should probably change my melon farm into a pumpkin farm or i could just make another pumpkin farm that might be a good idea all right well unfortunately we don't have the pumpkins to trade him actually we might i don't know oh this guy's already converted back all right let's go all right so since we have the pumpkins might as well okay yo look at that we already got 20 emeralds that is awesome definitely gonna have to make the pumpkin farm oh and dude this dude this guy the farmer is actually the goat there we go i don't know if they always give you melons for emeralds but yo that is a steal 32 emeralds just like that for carrots pumpkins and melons all right now he should be a master right what does the master give you let's find out Ooh, suspicious stew why would i need suspicious stew is there anything valuable with that i don't know you guys let me know maybe i could prank other people with it i don't know all right so this guy instead of a farmer we're actually going to turn him into a mason and i'll show you guys exactly why in just a second but I think on this side, I'm literally going to only have masons. It's going to be pretty sick. All right, there we go. We got the stone cutter. Wait, can he get out of here? I don't think he can. Okay, yeah, he's definitely stuck in there. All right, so now we got a mason over here. And I'll show you guys exactly why. So if we just simply upgrade this dude, let's, you know, try to upgrade him all the way. Oh, wow, we got a lot of brick for this. Emerald for brick? Yo, that's actually a solid trade. All right, so, ooh, chiseled stone brick. You actually get so many awesome blocks from this. All right, I kind of got way too much stuff on me, though. So hold on a second. All right, let's rank you up, buddy. What else are you gonna offer me? Ooh, polished diorite and polished granite. You see what I'm talking about, guys? If you have a lot of emeralds, you can easily get some insanely cool stuff from this guy. So why not? Let's get some diorite. Max you out. Ooh, that is some really cool terracotta. Orange glazed terracotta. What's also cool about the masons is that if you have like a full row of them, you could even get lucky enough to have like every single color of glazed terracotta, every color of normal terracotta. You could have polished andesite. You could have different type of stone bricks. This mason is probably my favorite villager to have, to be honest. Eat, feast. Let's go. Make me more villagers, please. This is actually so messed up if you think about it, but you know what? We got to get those good enchantments. All right, let's get some more emeralds from you, good sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Let's go. And we're getting XP for this. Like, this is so dope. Oh, golden carrots and glistering melon slices. Dude, I love villagers. They are so awesome. All right, look at that. We already have like half a stack of emeralds just from doing all that. All right, let's see. What else can you give me? So, and now for the real reason why we got masons is because we get quartz, okay? This is the easiest way to get quartz. If you have a lot of emeralds, you get quartz pillars, block of quartz, which you can even turn into smooth quartz if you wanted to. But yeah, that is just unbeatable. Like, look at that. 
Like, we basically have so much quartz. And if you guys can imagine, if we have, like, 20 of these guys just lined up, we'll be so stacked on building blocks, we can pretty much build anything we want. It's gonna be super sick. But I think this is gonna be a really good place for me to end off the video today. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I, we did a lot today, man. We got the subway system done. We got some really cool villagers. I'm pretty excited. We got farm upgrades. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please remember to drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you wanna help support the Craft Night series. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Das Vidania.